Five Stolen Corpses of Famous People Theft cases have become daily occurrences and usual stories dished out in the news across the world. Thus, whether a luxury car or a can of soup is stolen, it's no longer shocking. But stealing a corpse? Now that's jolting. Watch this video and find out why thieves dared to steal the dead bodies of these famous people. Number 5. Enrico Cuccia Enrico Cuccia was no cinema superstar, but in Italy's world of finance, he was a rock star. Cuccia was appointed the first president of Milan-based investment bank Mediobanca in 1946. After 36 years, he retired from the board of Mediobanca and became its honorary president. His financial genius also made him the personal advisor of the Agnelli family, an Italian multi-industry business dynasty that co-founded Piedmont in 1899, now called Fiat Motor Company. The influential Cuccia brokered most of Italy's major business deals after World War II and became known as the father of Italian capitalism. Two months after undergoing a prostate cancer operation, Cuccia died on June 23, 2000, at the age of 92. However, his corpse was stolen on March 18, 2001 from the family graveyard near Lake Maggiore. His family soon received a ransom letter demanding three and a half million dollars, but Cuccia's corpse was later found hidden under a pile of hay in a barn in a mountainous area west of Turin. Well, the amateur corpse thieves were caught and sentenced in December 2001, and Cuccia was finally laid to rest in peace. Number 4. Tassos Papadopoulos a nation's president is definitely one of the most heavily guarded individuals in the world. Obviously, any leader is an open target for assassination, kidnapping, assault, and other crimes. But the case of former President Tassos Papadopoulos of Cyprus was indeed a unique one. He was in peril, not while serving his term, but as a lifeless human. His corpse was stolen from his grave on December 11, 2009 a day before holding a memorial service to mark the first death anniversary of Cyprus's fifth president, who died of lung cancer. Investigators described the theft as deliberate and carefully planned, for how can a random grave robber lift a 300-kilogram marble slab in order to dig up the grave and leave the scene undetected? Although the Papadopoulos family denied receiving ransom demands, police authorities and the justice minister believed the motive was financial. Acting upon a tip-off they received, the police discovered a lifeless body on March 8, 2010 in a cemetery near the capital city in Nicosia. After a DNA test, it was confirmed to be Papadopoulos's stolen body. Number 3. Albert Einstein If there's one most valuable part in Albert Einstein's physiology, it would be his brain, for which he was known as a genius. So first, a disclaimer. It wasn't the Nobel Prize winning physicist's whole body that was gone, rather. It was his brain that was unlawfully removed and stolen. On April 7, 1955, Einstein experienced internal bleeding but refused surgery, saying, I want to go when I want. It's tasteless to prolong life artificially. I've done my share. It's time to go. Einstein did go the next morning at Princeton Hospital. The hospital's pathologist, Dr. Thomas Stoltz Harvey, performed Einstein's autopsy, but what he did next was unfathomable. Dr. Harvey removed Einstein's brain without the permission from the scientist's family and took it with him. He wanted to preserve Einstein's brain in the hope that the neuroscience of the future would be able to discover what made Einstein so intelligent. Dr. Harvey was fired from Princeton and took the brain with him in Philadelphia, carved it into 240 pieces, preserved and stored them in his basement. Oh, Einstein must be revolting in his grave. Number 2. Eva Perón Don't cry for me, Argentina. The truth is, I never left you. So goes a line from the song in the musical Evita about Argentina's most well-loved first lady, Eva Perón. The truth is, millions of Argentines mourned her death on July 26, 1952 because of cervical cancer. After all, she worked tirelessly with the poor, the working class and women, created schools and healthcare facilities. No wonder Eva was named Argentina's spiritual leader. But her death and its aftermath was as interesting as her political life. President Juan Perón wanted Eva's body impeccably preserved while he began the construction of a massive monument in her honor. However, he was overthrown in a military coup in 1955. He escaped to Spain, leading Eva's body in Argentina. The new regime stole Eva's remains to keep it away from the revolutionaries, but it was mysteriously stolen when it was about to be buried. More strangely, the body was shortly recovered, but there's no evidence of how. 
Finally, in 1967, Ava was buried in Milan, Italy under the pseudonym Maria Magi de Magistris. Number 1. Charlie Chaplin Charlie Chaplin, the superstar of Hollywood's silent era, became a worldwide icon through his screen persona The Tramp and was adored in many silent films. Off camera, Chaplin's personal life wasn't as silent because of controversies that hounded him. Accusations of sympathizing with communists, marriages to younger women, his fallout with Hollywood, and exodus to Switzerland in the 1950s. In his old age, Chaplin endured a series of mild strokes and suffered a fatal one on December 25, 1977. But even after his death, the silent film star made such an unexpected noise when on March 2, 1978, Chaplin's wife Una received a call from the police. Look, somebody dug up the grave and Charlie's gone. The body snatchers demanded about $600,000 for the safe return of Chaplin's body and threatened the lives of the couple's young children. Two months after, Eastern European political refugees Roman Wardas and Gansho Ganev were finally nabbed and prosecuted for grave robbing and attempted extortion. Chaplin's corpse was reinterred at the Corsier Cemetery surrounded by reinforced concrete. At last, Chaplin found silence and peace in his afterlife. If you find this video infotaining, please subscribe to our channel and make us part of your daily habit.